Now the real stuff will begin, capturing Windows. First thing, we need to figure out the letter for the Windows drive, and the other drive that we will save our image on it. Here, there will be some difference between Windows and WinPE, because WinPE sorts the partitions, not the drives. So usually, C partition here in WinPE will be the system reserved partition. It's the boot partition in Windows. Let's see. If you type dir c, it will list the files found under c. As you see, it's empty because it's the system reserved. If you type dir d, you'll see that this is the Windows drive that we need to capture. To verify the destination drive, we will make sure that the E drive is named E here, dir E, and it's the new volume that we created in Windows, as you can see here. Now we will need to use the ImageX tool, so we need to jump to the ISO image of WinPE, type F, it's the drive letter of the ISO image. Now we will start the capturing process. I'll type ImageX, and then slash capture, then we will choose our source drive for the Windows operating system, which is D. And then I'll choose the destination where we want to save the captured image. It's E. And let's name it install.om. And then you can add a description for the image. It's Windows 8.132 bit. Then this is very important. We need to add a flag to the image. The flag parameters tell the Windows installation process what version or what edition is this Windows. Because when we run sysprep, it removes this flag and we need to add it to the captured image. If you did not add this parameter, the Windows installation will not be able to identify what edition is this Windows. So we'll add the flags and type the official name for the Windows Pro, professional. And then hit enter. It will start scanning files and directories, and then it will exclude some files that will not be added to the captured image, and start the capturing process. And once it's done, we will be back. Now the capture is completed, it took 16 minutes and 30 seconds, and I have verified that the install.wm is saved now on our E drive by typing dir-e. We need now to pull out this install.wm file to our machine. We have two ways to accomplish this. The first one is to boot to our virtual Windows 8.1 and then use networking and Windows Explorer to copy the file to our physical machine. The other way, which is faster, we will open the VHD file through disk management. The first thing we need to do is to turn off the machine and then we need to specify where our virtual hard disk is located.